I guess uh, the new home here, ready to start like a, a new chapter in the career, I guess. What's uh, what's the feel like for you? Um, I mean, it's cool. I mean, now there's going to be a handful of us, maybe a little bit, uh, uh, yeah, a little handful of us that have crossed all three promotions um, with the transition and a little bit more with, with you know, with with the transition. But, um, yeah, it's cool. I feel I feel it's kind of like a – it's already – it was kind of a home. I was already, I was around PFL since 2018. So, I mean, I'm very familiar with, with PFL, with the with the staff, with just everything behind the scenes. Um, yeah, and it's kind of um, – it wasn't really – like, I didn't I didn't think of it as on my path in for, for per se, like, um, since 2018. But, I mean, um, the way things happen is kind of cool. I mean, pretty comfortable, so. When the organizations came together, did you know, like, this is where you wanted it up, or did it matter to you either way, or what was your thoughts? Uh, never matter. Never matter. Just activity. Um, at the in October after the Corrales fight, I wanted to get in right away, but you know there was so uncertainty the whole year that I was trying to make trying to do some call outs at the end of the year just to stir things up because they were saying Belfast early early in the year. So I mean that was what seemed certain because they set they set a date they set a the place. So I was chasing the James Gallagher fight just because the location right, and so up until like January, I mean, early January, I was trying to get that fight just because I knew that was like the first date that was coming. Um, and then weird things happen to where, okay, Jeremy's fighting him. Um, so I, I, I didn't really care about the opponent. I just wanted to get back in fast. And then they hit me with the PFL. So it, it worked out perfect. Did you weigh, I mean, it seems like there's pros and cons to both, right? Like in the PFL, you're going to stay busier, but that's also, it's a tough season, man, to get all the way through to fight that many times and stay uninjured, you know, versus maybe, you know, you can have a little more time to recover in Bellator, but you don't know that you're going to fight as quick. I mean, did you like, do, do you think about those things or weigh it out? We were all thinking about that every day. <laughs> every day we were all thinking about that. Um, yeah, that those those things right there, That's that, those are the questions, right? Do I stay this side um, with this much fights on the deal? Or do I go this side, more activity, but we don't know how often we're going to fight on the other side. Um, so yeah, every day until I knew what was happening, that, that those are the questions. So do you think this one fits you better and, and for your needs, or is it going to be more of a challenge, or what do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just glad to be booked, and the first fight is on, on their way. You know, it's um, coming up soon, so I'm just happy that the first fight's booked, and we just we got to do that one first. Talk about that opening matchup. What, what are your thoughts on it? I love it. I love it. I love. I love the. I love the style. Um, I prepare for that style all the time. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's another name, uh, and yeah, I feel like I've been preparing for this style f for a while. So, and I like I like the open stance matchup. So, all right, so I think we I guess talk to you about where you feel like you're at in your career. As you said, like going through all three or the major organizations. Or, or does it feel like you're at in your career? Does it feel like you know now you're ready for this, or you know that history helps you out? I mean, wh where do you feel? Yeah, I do. Um, but I but other than the history of like you know just the UFC and then. Bellator and being here, I feel like um, my coach has been preparing me well, um, developing a style um, for 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 the next challenge. And I feel like, I mean, this is perfect matchup, perfect matchup. I'm just wondering if, when you're doing the consideration of what which place you want to fight at, is there even like one percent of you that feels loyal to Bellator, or are you more excited to be now I'm in PFL? Like, was there any kind of the brand loyalty that you considered? I guess when they did the matchups and the way they were talking about, um, yeah, they kind of showed the first matchups. I mean, we kind of have to take on that loyalty role, you know, of representing that first round, right? It's kinda, our weight class is kind of split between PFL, Bellator, and going against each other in like kind of like a dual meet kind of style. So I mean, yeah, you want to represent um, the organization you're coming from right away, um, just to you know, just just to make them look good. Also making weight three months. Are, are you uh, <laughs> not not excited about that? Um, I don't know. I because I'm a guy that likes to stay active. So I mean, um, I feel like I'm gonna do well. I I feel I mean hard to say, right? Um, but I, I feel like I'm gonna do well. Uh, I've taken all, although like I, I've gotten bigger, I've gotten more mature, um, older. I've taken short notice fights, you know, on two weeks, four days, one week. Um, but I feel like it. It's I, I'll be prepared for it. 
hard to say because I never did it right, but uh, I feel like I'll do well. Gotcha. Obviously, your teammate Jeremy didn't get the result he wanted, but you know you were there. How did you feel about the performance and the fight? Um, I, uh, I mean, I, I was uh, the performance was going well up until the tide turn, you know, and yeah, it was going really well until the tide turn. So I mean, but that's the fight game, you know. What I mean, you just you just that, that the game the fight game sucks, but. Yeah, the, the, the tide was turning, you know, the first round was kind of lackluster. We thought we lost that round. Second round, we were kind of stealing it back. Third round, we definitely were pulling away with, 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 the, with the momentum. But that's, that's why he's a champion, you know. So, um, yeah, that's, that's why he's a champion. But, yeah, it's a bummer because we, um, we're definitely pulling away with the, with the momentum at that point. Just, and then for it to just switch, um, you know, you got to... That's when you gotta kind of recognize greatness, you know. But um, was was good, 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 good experience for on on a corner and just a, tra a main training partner type um, aspect. That was a great experience. Do you like cornering, cornering your teammates? I know some fighters are mixed on like they get really nervous cornering their their friends and their teammates. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I, I mean, I enjoy it. I enjoy. It. I, I I love being around fights. Um, I love being active. And I feel like that's the closest thing to being active. I was just, I cornered Dan, um, I cornered Ray in Saudi Arabia, and then I, and, um, this last one in Belfast for the world title. So, I mean, three big fights in a row, um, three guys I'm very close to um, in the training room. And yeah, it's good because, I mean, um, I mean, it's pretty, that's the closest thing you get to being in a fight, you know, and with people that you, you train really close with, you, know, you put in the hours with. So. You, you, you know a lot more about those fights than just um, sitting on a couch or just um, yeah watching on TV. So yeah, it's it's I like it. I like it a lot. It it, it messes with your emotions, you know. But I, I enjoy it. But now it's you know it's my time. The season is starting, so I'm excited.